My affinity for working with wood uh, dates back to uh, our purchase of a home. And um, back then, the woodwork was um, pine and, uh, or poplar, and uh, my wife wanted maple. So I bought a bunch of maple, um, baseboards and other configurations, and began to um, replace the woodwork, and ultimately did. When I, re when I retired from my previous job, I, my daughter contacted me and said, Dad, can you make me some bunk beds for the kids, the grandkids? I had two grandkids back then. And I had some sh shop equipment, but I didn't have a table saw. And they had a table saw in here, so I signed up and volunteered to be in the wood shop. And I, back then, we could, we could work in here on any day of the week and I made the bunk beds for my granddaughter. And uh, I started getting interested in other projects and so forth, and that's when I pretty much started. I am uh, used to being in a wood shop. I used to make uh, work in a mill before I was married and made windows and stuff like that. And did a lot of glazing. And I had a part-time job with a friend of mine who had a company. We built houses on weekends, and we did repairs or remodeling of, of houses on weekends only, Saturday and Sunday. So I've been around wood almost all my life. Yeah, I've been doing woodworking here for about, about three years, three and a half years, something like that. Our work primarily is um, that of repairing uh, items of residence. As, uh, for instance, uh, I just, we just finished repairing a Statue of Liberty uh, table. That table that's in, that we have in the other room, that's 100 years old. And you should see the Statue of Liberty is, is carved right into the top of it. it when you were just seeing that, when they brought that table in here, you would never believe that this is the same table. There's an old, a very old um, jewelry box made in China that is coming apart. It's um, glue has let go and it has warped. And so there are voids that need to be filled with wood putty. So we're doing that now. Like I said, the table saw is primarily uh, one of the major pieces of equipment that we all use. Uh, we've got other things like the uh, radio arm saws, the band saws, the uh, drum sander over there, and a lathe that I think I'm the only one who knows how to use the lathe here. And then on the other side, we've got smaller tools like sanders and grinders and so forth and hand tools. And, uh, because of all the different type of projects we do, we use about everything in here at one time or another. Yeah. That's their phone. Uh, we operate on uh for the most part, phone calls. And uh, we have an answering machine, uh, so a person can call anytime and leave a message. And um, sometimes we get them during the week, and other times we wait until Wednesday to get them. One by six is three quarter inches thick. I know. By five and a half wide. Yeah. And that's all they want is one piece. And okay. they the resident will want to know if we can help them with a rickety table or a, a, a rickety chair, um, things of that nature. Um, and we will ask them, if they are mobile, to bring it down. Now, if it's a large enough item, 
We have dollies and carts that one of the woodworkers can go to their place and pick it up. We have a fair amount of people call. That's, that's how we get our jobs. You know, they come down. Some of them just walk by here on Wednesdays and come in and bring a lamp in or bring a, uh, a uh, walker that needs to be adjusted. And we just repair the work on the spot. And they sign a release that, um, you know, we are not responsible for uh, the end result, I guess, is if, if something fails. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Well, some of the guys are good at picking up and delivering things. Others are good at gluing things. Others are good at sanding things. So we rely on their their expertise. <laughs> Some people have excellent skills. They've had a lot of experience before they join us and their level of skill level is helpful throughout. Uh, that means they've got m multiple skills. Some people work in the steel industry and work with steel products. Other people work with as a hobbyist, you know, and maybe work with a lot of different machinery and, and we have Nobody really that worked primarily with wood, like building cabinets or anything like that, but they had a, worked in a, a hobby doing things. And it's those skill levels that are handy because most of our work is, is not that complicated. It requires general knowledge of machinery and uh, everybody can fit that category eventually, yeah. A very nice group of men. They really are. When I volunteered at um, the Arlington Heights Senior Center, the wood shop, uh, there were women who used the woodwork shop, the wood shop. Uh, we don't have any here, and uh, they are welcome. We start on something and and if, if, if somebody gets called away to do something else, another guy steps in and, and works right w with the guys. They, they've all, we all work together. I think there's 20 of us, yeah? I mean, we got all the equipment and they make it easy for you. Uh, my advice is if, you, if you're interested in doing something like that and helping out the community here, because that's what we're doing, we're helping out the, the uh, our clients are all people that need things fixed. Uh, to come down and look at the equipment, uh, envision yourself working on it, uh, thinking, meet some of the people here, uh, look over the programs that we've got available and what we're doing, and if, if you're interested in that, then just sign up. Come on down and just take a look. You don't have to join right away. You can see what we're doing. And, and that's what uh, Russell did. He came down here and just saw what we were doing, and he's been coming here ever since. <laughs> that's all it takes is seeing, seeing what we're doing, and that, 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 I think that cinches it. People think that you're a woodworker, you have to do a certain thing a certain way. Well, you, you, you've got to cut wood the right way and stuff like that, but that's about it. Oh, the enjoyment, you see that you, people go, oh my gosh, you repaired it. That right there, you're, you're in seventh heaven. <laughs> I just did a, I did a cane for a lady. She gave it to me at one of the meetings there and it was all painted. I mean, it had about five or six coats of paint on it and just paint on top of paint on top of paint. Took it all the way down sanded it, filled a hole and everything, and restained it, and put lacquer on it, gave it back to him. The lady says, this is like a brand new cane. And it was something that they had in the family for, 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 for 80 years. It was handed down to her by her, and she, she was so happy to see that. She won't let go of it now. <laughs> yep. 
that, that little joy that you see that when you, when you see their eyes go like that, you go, we did okay. <laughs> All donations. That's we just ask for a donation. That's it. The person doesn't need to be a woodworker to join the group. What we seek are people who um, want to keep busy, do something productive, uh, even if they're coming in a stroller, you know, it doesn't matter. As long as they're willing to do something, uh, we're happy to have them.